I will say though, there's not not enough DT in your lineup. Uh, yeah, split it right down the middle. I could have filled it out completely either way. Um, yeah, I mean, I I I also went with um three and three just because I, th- I thought I thought it was it went with the spirit of the event, you know. Totally, totally. Um, I left some of my some AOA old favorites that do see a lot of play on the bench just to get some new names in there. Um, oh wow, this one just looks scary to me. I think I have to ban it and let you let you safe what I suspect you'll safe. We'll see <clears throat> what happens. That's this is they got some cool decks here. There's some good stuff. There's some good stuff. <laughs> it's it's one of those things where it's like I don't really want to ban some of the DT decks because I don't want to. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to like <laughs> not have those be uh, be seen. Like I want I want to like let them shine. And they will if given the chance to. Uh... Q West Hall is a great, a great deck. Love yeah, that deck. Love it. Um, I expect that to fly under the radar for some folks, for sure. Uh, I think the deck that I, I feel like your DT deck that's gonna get banned is probably evil, evil to the your evil twin, Dove Duchess Ventura. It's a very solid deck. That's a very good deck. If it wasn't, I would consider banning that. That that's definitely one of the decks I would consider banning most. Probably. Um, mm-hmm. I wasn't looking at other things. If that's as cryptic as it possibly could be. <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's a fair ban. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't fault you too hard if it got banned in either round. Um, yeah. But all matchup dependent. We'll see. It's very solid. I will say that too. Man, Rosalie's Rosalie's logos is really similar to um, uh, Left Kill Him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Some Left Kill Him similarities there. I don't think so. Yeah, it has the BDQ as well. Left Kill Him has four bots? Yeah, Left Kill Him has four, has four bots. Four bots. Oh, I mean, you banned Malus. Mm-hmm. Carbon, carbon. I expect to pick up a lot of round one bands for sure. I mean, I don't. I'll be honest with you. I'm not banning it because I think it's the scariest deck. I'm banning it because I think it's the deck I want to play against the least, and also it incentivizes play of the DT decks. Mm, so I'm playing the long, like the long game here. <laughs> okay. Now. That leaves us with some options. I mean, there's, there's, uh, you got some good decks to save. Mm-hmm. Got choices to be, choices to be made. I mean, I think I know which one I think you should save. Vasago gets saved. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, what'd you save? I saved the Duchess. Oh, okay, interesting. That's not what I would have, um, expected. Mm. Interesting. <clears throat> Curious, what uh, what was the what was the expected save? Or you can tell me after. Uh, I I expect you to save uh, Westfall. Yeah. Um, just like looking at my decks and the especially with with Malus gone, the distinct lack of any form of scaling amber control or any form of amber control. Um, mm-hmm. I think. Uh, it's hard. Yeah, I just think it's it's far easier to work that into a matchup. That's. And like even if you go come into Farhead, right? Like that's if I I just feel like QS Falls got a good uh good chance into pretty much any of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that's my band number two. I think yeah, West Falls good band. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> all right, so I'm not playing. I'm not getting to play Farhead. A lot of DT in the mix here. I like it. Yeah, that's the that's the goal. That's what we want. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Our hood. Our hood's gone. Judge survived two bands. Surprising. I didn't save either. Yeah. Although I mean I, I didn't I that that's that's for us. <sighs> don't want I don't want to reveal my whole hand. No, no, gotta play some cards close to the chest, you know. Okay, we are gonna try this game one. Let's see what happens. All right. Uh, I think we're gonna go with this though. That's this is gonna be the first one. Let's see what do we got. Nice. Let's see what we got here. So we got. Ooh. This is Fasago versus oh, Rosalie. Welcome, welcome in, welcome in, Zach. Yes, we're playing your league. Very exciting. <laughs> Karen shenanigans. Okay, interesting. Do you want to make the game That's or do you want to make the game? Uh, either way is good. I can make it. Vesania. Mm. Mm -hmm. Rude. <laughs> Vesania is rude. Stringantus. All right. I mean, we I don't think see. I don't I don't think the Desania is the is the biggest worry for this deck though. Yeah, you've got your uh, your disc looks very scary to me. Um, we shall see. I have to make sure I uh, don't get MMR it as well. Double wall up with MMR is pretty spicy. I mean, it's it's very hard to not get MMR by this deck. Mhm, mm I believe it. I'm deafening everyone's ears with the uh, TCO notification sound. <laughs> I'm Traveler Showdown. I like it. All right, let's get into this. Maybe I'll is... mimicry myself in MR. That would be fun. Ooh, I mean, you'd have a pretty hard time getting there, though. We'll see. We'll see. Your your Titan mechanics go you. a long way. Yeah. I mean, your Good pit lord, luck. your pit lord is gonna help you. It may. It can. It, may. it can both hit on a logos turn for sure. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's really a sneaky logos card that just doesn't stick around very long. Um. Okay. This is a mulligan, I think. That's okay. I don't really think this hand's good, but I think we're going to keep nice. the witch. Ooh, a Sutterkin. Hmm. Okay. Well, it's going to stick around for a turn. That's what we like to see. Let's go, baby. Mm-hmm. I was really sad. I initially tried to, um, when Alliance first came out, I tried to use... Um, this dis as a bit of a like a disruption package, but um, I had I had um, Russian Guntus. Oh yeah yeah yeah, which was uh which was rather sad. Nice, right into it. Oh snap, that's no good. Yowza, yowza. Behind the eight ball already. That is bad news, bears. Holy oh, moly! We'll <laughs> <laughs> see. Uh, see how that goes. Yeah, for real. Um, oh, the flaxia okay. there is pretty nice, though. Nice flaxia. Drawing five, you know, that's Ooh. pretty good too. <laughs> you know, that's pretty good. Six. We get it. You get archive it. Oh man, appreciate that. 
Good. It's looking pretty good. Hmm. Okay, got some work to do to catch up here. Let's see what we can do. I don't really know why I, why I kept this binding rapture, but I had some uh, had everywhere. some plans. Gotta put a stop to that. Oh, that's rude. Yeah. Too much, too much, sir. I guess the answer is like, do I care? May not. May not indeed. Chamber control do you even have? None. Absolutely Very goddamn little. none. It's looking, it's looking rough over here. Ooh. Ooh. Brutality. Brutality. <laughs> okay. A key, though. I'll take a key. Mm hmm. This is this is an interesting match though. This is an interesting matchup. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I think we're going for. I will say. Big... Go ahead. You draw? Nope. Not as big as it needed to be. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I see you didn't put that helper bot on the flank, though. Or sorry, you didn't put that Titan mechanic open on the flank, which is a little rude. Did not this time. Maybe next time. We'll see. Oh. Could have protected that from Ramo. All right. We're going to reap. I'm going to reap there. <clears throat> see what happens. See what happens. Getting spicy. Okay. So this is, I have a play that is very spicy. <laughs> But it entirely hinges on the idea that you don't have a key charge. Two binates? That would be bananas. bananas. No, 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 no. It's it's a different card. It's a different card. Mm, interesting. Um. And there is a what? There is what? You just went. Just went logos. You've got 22 cards, 16 cards in the bin, 16 cards in the draw pile, a little less than half your deck. Now, most of it's untamed. So what are the odds? It's like 50-50 whether or not that key charge is in, is in your hand. Mm. Slightly less than 50-50. This card, the MMR, so I can mimicry it now, you know? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go for it. I am going to go for Saucy. it. Yeah, it's very saucy. <laughs> the card I have is uh, Hecatomb. Okay. Interesting.
Wow. And a charrette though. Charrette's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I did the I did the math and I ended up I thought you'd be for I thought you'd be um forging the second key there. Yep, yep. But I missed the extra one off of um Titan Mechanic. And the banish. Or the banish didn't do anything. But you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Legit. I lied. Hmm. That makes it interesting for sure. And the good news is that I have no A in my bin for you to mimicry. Because <laughs> this deck, this deck also has no amber control. Hmm. So we go with this here then. Mm-hmm. Seems legit. Yeah, this just, this just doesn't legit. Now the question is, do you have two more charrettes? Or do you have one more charrette? It's that one. This card's a Marmo Swarm? That's a, that's a wrong call. <laughs> Very rarely the right call to discard the Marmo Swarm. Stay alive, okay, question okay, mark. Okay, that's one, that's one. Yeah, stay alive, question mark. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, this is going to seal it, though. Oh, baby. Yeah. Poking my stuff. Poking my yeah. stuff. Yeah. This is Rude. the, by the way, this is like the most value I've ever gotten out of uh, poke. <laughs> All right, that's a key. I'll take a key. I think I got oh, um, the key charge, though. Life, life ward, too. Yeah, yeah. You got any, got any monies for me in there? You could have fought the charrette, though, right? Yeah, I'm gonna nature's call it and then light key charge. Oh, uh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna poke this guy, draw some stuff. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Well, you know, yeah. I try my best. Try my best. <laughs> the way of the Terran, the key charge. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, spicy one. No, that was spicy. No MMR, huh? No MMR? I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. If it was, it's not in the deck. It sits in the deck. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, if you didn't Dang. have if you didn't have key charge there though, I I would have uh, would have been cruising. Oh yeah, that was uh, that was locked up without key charge for sure. Yeah, um, that was fun. It was a fun one. Definitely a fun one. Cool. I like the I like your style going with the Hecatomb. That was a spicy play. <laughs> yeah, I, I I was I was thinking there. I was like, you know what? I would I'm gonna regret my life if I don't. If I don't play yeah. this, because that's just that's just like, especially like when I realized once I realized it didn't give you the key. I think that's just like, mm, mm. like especially once you get to like if you get to untap those with those Tesmals, and you know what I mean it's it, it, it's gonna start getting tricky. Yep, you will. Uh, you'll never you'll never remember the keys you didn't forge, but when you didn't hack a tomb, those are the things that stick with you. Exactly. You know? <laughs> exactly. Oh, if you're gonna go out, go out in style. Yes, totally, totally. All right, we got we got some interesting choices here now too. I got all DT left. No wrong choices for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we'll see how this goes. Ooh, we got. I mean, a there's a wrong choice versus... on your end. I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> I made the wrong choice, I'm sure, actually. 
Yeah, you did. That's actually that's exactly the wrong. Yeah, you, you had you had, you had a seventy five percent chance to choose right, JD. Oh no! Oh no! It's okay. I'm setting myself up for a hundred percent chance of making the right choice for next game. That's right. You know? That's right. I mean, you you could you could have. Uh, it's it's like the um, three door three door problem. Yeah, Monty Hall. Let me switch. <laughs> Thank switch you. That's now? that's the name of Monty Hall. Yeah. Yeah. I am super jazzed to be playing uh, this deck, though, in the league. It's the uh, it's the NPE deck that I that I did include, which I'm super stoked for. You you wouldn't call your evil twin and uh, NPE? Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're all they're all in the range somewhere, you know. <laughs> I see. I see. Hey, welcome in, Amrides. We're playing. Uh, we're playing your favorite set, Dark Tidings. Ooh, the, the cooler ones of us are, yeah. <laughs> and we're also, but we're also playing AOA, so that 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 just doesn't enjoy that set. Yeah, one and two. One oh shit! Oh shit! Sets. Okay, this is this is pretty cool. We're gonna we're gonna keep the sand, just mm -hmm. for this opener. You ready? See it. Oh baby, that's brutality. Ah, uh, this is game two. All right. This is game two, Armides. Hmm. I love that interaction with the resolving the tide razor inside the window. Yeah. Wow. That's super cool. Um, <laughs> and he burns a Star Alliance, Untamed, and Logos card. So cool. Yeah, together is such a cool card. For sure. I wish this deck had more of them. Not gonna lie. This deck not having a lay of land uh, makes me very sad. It's my favorite one of my favorite Star Alliance cards. Okay, Pandemonium comes down. Now it's thinky time. I was gonna say, very impactful Pandemonium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is to exalt your Chronophage. <laughs> no pip. And we'll go with uh looking at your list. What do we want here? Hmm. I think I'm just gonna say no untamed and let you fight him with the chronophage if you really want to. Yeah, I mean that that's that's fine with me. That is a fair trade. Doctor Varoctor comes down. All right, we get to finish off the chronophage. Okay, that's rude. That's rude. I'm going to let you know that right now. I'm a rude guy. I'm just a rude guy. Nearly. Jesus. But that was, a, that was a big setup to take a poor turn to finish off the chronophage. You had a lot of creatures in here. You know that? Mm-hmm. A lot of bodies. A lot of bodies. Let's do the old... Witch of the Dawn for infinite chronophages. I like it. Um, Are you really chronophaging if they're not infinite? <laughs> uh, this is a Many deck. Chronophages. This is a deck, and like I've talked to Quick Try about this more than once. But like the evil twin of this deck would go so hard. Like it, it would just be. It would. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, there it be. I'm going to play this dance. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got bodies. You got bodies on the floor. On the, on the, on I got the, bodies. Uh, field. I got bodies. Um, yeah. Fight's, fight's got to happen, I guess. Yeah. I mean, the corner page does that. It incentivizes... Uh... Um, yeah, I think that's fine. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> An officer's blaster and a universal translator. Nice. We have choices. We have choices. Um, but are there real choices? Uh, 
is the question. Uh, I'm gonna smash this one here and put you over there. Oh, extermin! Well, I, I was just... like, I was like, what is that card? That makes sense. Probably just discard the harvester there. That was a dumb womp womp. Giving you, uh, giving you Mars dudes to uh, keep on council instead of my dominator. Mm hmm. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Loading up. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll go and... Oh, we're exhuming. Bring a nice beefy body in. Mm -hmm. And then the Guntus comes in, and we'll oh, say... Oh, no. No, 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 yeah. no. I think we still say Logos here. Still say? That's a different choice than last time. Mm-hmm. What's the, what's the thought process with the new change? <laughs> just uh, what is this? Amberback. Uh, what's left in deck? And yeah, this is all fine. Oh wait, if that comes down though, yeah. So we do this first. Cool. Mm, okay, that's actually not what I really what I wanted to see. But... Oh, and I did that. I did that ordering wrong. I have one more amber. Oofa doofa. Hmm. Interesting. The logos call is interesting. I'll give you that. Yeah, I uh, don't know if it's the right call. Mostly want. Um, I mostly don't want to get think twice into Grand Alliance Council. Um, with together already been spent. Um, Oh, this other, oh, we'll this see. other. I mean, this other, <coughs> this other removal too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess there's only one other removal card left. But... Oh no, that's not true. There's three possible removal cards for Rust Restoring Guntus. Go into this here. Hmm. And got mooked. It was streaks on the flank though, so like did you really do anything? It's just uh just chilling, not doing anything over there. Weak sauce. Yep. I just wanna be I just wanna play this. We're returning, okay, that's kind of a sucky card to play off in. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's something. Back in the disc here, I think. I want to take the tide. Kind of do. I mean, I got an Espeon on the board. Yeah. Hmm. I think I'm going to take it. Seems take yummy. It. Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. Static guard coming down. Okay. Yeah, we're mm, going to take You're it. reading my deck list now, I see. Mm-hmm. Ryan. Okay, I think that's a little rude to be reading my deck list, but... Let's do you first to move that there. 
reap. And that in archives. Got another reap in here too. You're letting me you're letting me keep my chelonia. I am. I don't know. This is dubious decision making at best. I would call it dubious. Oh, the witch chain into Chelonias. That's brutal. Yeah. Oofa doofa. Underestimated that. And the tax, and the and the and the the two number tax too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, he could have probably just gone for the Chelonia last turn. I mean, I mean this also I mean I've I've gone to untamed like a couple times in a row, so like if do I have the third witch is it's pretty low. So I think like that that is fair. Like you, you, there's a real world where you have another chance to get rid of it where it doesn't really impact anything. Hmm. I am Yeah, very fair. Oof. I think that's that's it. That's all we're doing here. Oh, no more egg? Right. No more. Surely, surely. Not that's gonna be very useful. Got an obey though, don't you? Ace must not have it. Setting up the old taunt line. I can really see a world where this deck has a lockout though. Yeah, it it does for sure. Yeah. Um, Oofa doofa. Well, that's not gonna do it though. Nicely there we done. Go. Oops, sorry, but <laughs> wow, was that good one? That was a good, good one. one. That was a good one. That I, that was that was a good one. I wasn't. I was. Uh, I was. Um. I think you should have called untamed. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna. I think you should have called untamed again. Although my yeah. my my, I understand logos because like that's two ways I get rid of your western gun just the static charge and the. Mm -hmm. Uh, think twice. So. Very fair. Yep, I thought I had. I thought I was gonna have room to set up the set up the lock. And then I had ways to deal with the Chelonia, but I didn't expect it to snowball so quickly. Uh, which I really wasn't thinking which of the Dons come in like that, um, which was good. Was yeah, really good. that's 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 what this deck does. This deck, this deck likes to do that. And sweet. So this deck used to be uh, used to be an Archon contender before Mass Mutation, because uh, the lock is super consistent with all these taunters oh, right. protecting Western Guntress, but like damage pips, you know. Stray, a stray damage pip kind of works around all that, for sure. Yeah, I guess MM has a ton of, like, targeted destruction effects, too. Yep. Like, just a oh. ton. <laughs> Which is why I said the set's oh. so... I mean, the set, the set, MM's a great set. I hated it, but it's a great set. <laughs> Actually, I didn't, even, I didn't even hate MM. I was just uh, really tired when it was, like, so dominant. Just have, like, Board Flood be the only yeah. MM that people played. Mid-range yeah. MM? always fun or like decks like helena and stuff like that like you know like really like interesting decks i really enjoyed that totally we got a couple of interesting options left judge and miniford nice what do we, we got garvey jaguar field and the evil twin of duchess ventura super fun both super fun. I was considering playing my um my evil twin. Well like this the one of the first three decks I ever opened. Um in uh in this in this hex head hmm. it has the coolest archon card of any deck i own by by hand like hands down the evil twin the evil twin archon cards or archons just looks so good actually like it should be like right here let me if i have it so i can show you i can so but again i'll get a game up
Yeah, I do have it. So you'll have to, you'll have to... Get you on the flip-flop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get, get you on the screen. But this doc, the evil, the evil twin of the Doctor of Floodbrook is so cool. This is definitely the coolest Archon. You can temporarily boost my viewership numbers, GT. <laughs> All right, let me pop over real quick. It's like a... Yeah, the black and red... And I have the I have the good twin of this too. Like I I I, I tracked down and, and bought the good twin. Um, so United, so cool. The black and red, the spider, and I didn't even know I didn't even know. <laughs> Thanks, <UT. laughs> Um I didn't even know it was um, what evil twins were when I opened it. I was like, oh whoa, that's cool. This looks dope. This looks is so like good. the first. Uh, First three decks I've ever op I ever opened. And it's a fun deck. It can like it can like produce a uh, like twenty amber in a turn sometimes. That lines up. It's got two corallops and then a sack of coins and a brent. And so it can like it can do things. Ooh, okay, we got Venture, we got the evil we got the evil Duchess. Evil Duchess, yes indeed. Up against Minifort leaving the judge on the bench. Holy yeah, I, as, as much as that that deck is something I always uh, I always have fun playing judge, but I play in every other event, you know. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. That deck's in there for like if I really want to try hard, then you know I can do that. This is a, also this deck because I don't really play it at competitive events. I have it in the clear dragon shield mats, mm -hmm. and boy. Is it nice to play with the with the clear dragon shield mats with this deck with the dope archon? Yeah, I like that. Uh, I've got I've got a couple in it in clear clear mat back sleeves just because uh, the archon cards are so nice. It's casual only, but uh, it's uh, it's it's a lot of fun. I mean, I wish I totally I I very much understand why you need opaque sleeves, but like I wish I could show off my archon art in. Uh, actual events so for the i mean for the archon that we have high res art for it'd be cool to see uh you know we've got we've got clone purchasing services now you know maybe you have a uh a mat or a uh, opaque back uh sleeve purchasing service for a deck you know that uh features the archon art oh uh, well you're, cool. you're you're breaking my heart with that because i wouldn't be able to order this deck <laughs> jt Yes, not DT, unfortunately. Uh, or any of my MM. Or any of your MM, really? No, MM. they don't. They don't have. They have. They don't have the Archon art for any of the MM decks. Oh, they have the color though. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because um, JDG wanted uh, Rob uh, Chandler the probably complex uh, for his. Uh, but I, yeah, it was the right color, but not the right art. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. they they lost all the um like the actual like archon art, but they still have the color identity. Mm, that's cool. <clears throat> yeah, Data for Data cool, Stream says that they they sounded like they weren't interested in um printing sleeves. Yeah, that's I mean fair. <laughs> Which is lame. Fair. Lame. It's gonna be a. Uh... It's gonna be a. Uh... I don't know. If you don't have the like infrastructure to do it, I can I can respect that, and still say it's lame. <laughs> well, I mean they have they have um what's it called Fort, uh what's their what's the what's the what's their like sister cousin business that makes um the uh, tokens, Forgefire Connect or whatever. Forgefire. Yeah. About yeah. That. Did they make the tokens or did they have a bunch of? Uh, no. game tokens lying around that got into like packaging <laughs> no those like those like pucks those colored pucks yeah. that's like um a ghost galaxy like you know like how like it's like the strange stars is the parent company yep that's a company within the strange car stars family so I... like it's it's like part of their business it's like part of their business infrastructure i guess you'd call it a vertical it's like I a vertical I mean, I... business yeah, so welcome I in, it was under the strange stars umbrella but i was like 
I don't know. I wasn't sure if, uh, wait now. Interesting. I know Sunday. Um, they have some. They say they're really nice. Like they're actually like, they're apparently, apparently they're like good quality and nice to use. Also, this is um, Minofor, Minof Minoford, Minoford. Um, this is a deck that I always think of um, when thinking about um, archetypes and thinking about like, um, ooh, Hookmaster. Uh, what do you call it? Tempo deck. Mm, score, score. Yeah. Joe in the chat saying the the. Uh, the Ghost Calyx, the Strange Stars tokens are nice too. Uh, there we go. They look nice. I'll be honest, they, they look like they look nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they look pretty nice. Uh, there were some folks using them at KFC. Oh, there you go. Soften my creatures. Rude. Uh, I'm not just exhausting. Right. Ew. Oof. Brutal. Okay, let's see what's up. I see what's up. All right, we'll do some science. Love science. Archive some things. This Very ET nice. deck has uh, three sciences. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, a little, a little overkill. Is there, is there such a thing? I don't know. Hey, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. That's that's exactly right. Larry, nice. You are just uh, all about making sure my things stay stay exhausted. I do not appreciate it. I'll have you know. It happens. Uh, th 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 this deck's really fun because it's like it's it's like, I mean, you're a magic player. It's very much like a Demir tempo deck, where it's mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna blink or bounce. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce your guy. Like I'm gonna like brace and borrower and then. You know, like play another one, and like it's it's like very much like a little like, it's really it's like small annoyances to like try and keep this deck ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really fun. I dig it. Ooh, oh yes. To a hook master. Yeah, that's so much I better. How I feel about that. The book, the book is uh, cracked. Those there, mm -hmm. I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. You know, doing I don't, stuff. I don't know if this is worth uh, three chains, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that portal value. Yeah, you always hate to see a, a portal hit the bin. I'm gonna discard Kilgog's trench here. That's a deck I do often play. It's a card we had uh, talked about putting on our uh, list of double-sided artifacts to talk about at some point, but it's like not quite, not quite enough. But I think it goes underrated a little bit. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting, it's an interesting card. I mean, it, the problem is that like it becomes irrelevant really quickly. Yeah, yeah, and it's got the like um, classic design flaw of like. Now I have this upkeeping that I am in charge of maintaining. I'm keeping that I'm in charge of maintaining, even though there's no chance it's going to become relevant. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That portal value. Brutal. So good. Illusions, too. Mama. Okay. Hmm. Mm hmm. You sir are posing the hard questions. That's that's what this deck wants to do. Would you say? Would you say I have the tempo? Would you say I have the initiative? Am I? Am I? For my? Am I forcing you to deviate from optimal optimal uh, game plans here? You just might be. Oh. Okay. Two, three. Oofa doofa. Uh, I mean, we 
could do a logo. Feels kind of bad, but we could do it. Do you want to, is it worth three amber? That's the thing. I think we're going to do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You do has you do have you 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 do have illusions of grandeur. You think you you don't you think you don't need you think you you don't need to uh, to go into a different house. You know, do what we gotta do. I'm working, Ryan. I wonder if I do that. Do I do that? That's kind of funny. I don't think we do that, but it's funny. Badge Magus and Larry Sargassa. Cool. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That's you got a tide warp one. over there? No tide warp. No tide warp. Interesting. Um, tough call. That's what we want to hear. Mm -hmm. That's a tough call. Man, I wish P.I. Swevin was better. Like the evil twin <laughs> version. Like yeah. the, the good twin, really good. Like draw three cards, very powerful, worth the two power, like non elusive, you know what I mean? Like that's like worthwhile trait. But like just to reap discard a card, like we have those. Like maybe if it said like if the tide is high and it just play ready and your opponent discards a, a card, that'd be cool. And just play ready would be would be strong for sure. Right, we're going like you know what I mean? Like it's it's obviously there. getting there first, yep. right? Because like it's like yep. the like the flavor on the art and the and the flavor text is like the, this PI Swevin is clearly doing whatever the other PI Swevin is investigating, and so it would, it would be uh, it'd be like a cool like flavor that. win to have, like it would it be coming ready. Hire me, GG. <laughs> Guy knows what's up. Yeah, yeah. Really, you'll be cool. Does this work how I think you it is? Captured my stuff. I don't like yeah, you capturing yeah. my stuff. Kind of want to forge and then not get uh, not get hit by this doorstep. Man, none of these having elusive sucks. And a key frog. You. Mm. Is the key frog real or is the key frog bait? I don't think. I don't think it's happening next turn, but I also don't think I want to leave it around. I only need four amber. That's true. How hard does that really get? I have at least four amber pips. Still in the deck. So I'm gonna point that out. At least you got this way of the pixie too. Don't like it. I only need I only need two yeah. pips. We're taking that. We're taking it though. It's Ooh, gotta go. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see if that pays off. Don't know if it will. Oh, I'm sure it will. I don't think you've ever made a wrong decision in your life, JT. <laughs> Okay, doorstep accounted for. I don't hate that. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. 
This is like this is the think time. See, Tom wants to go. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll let you think. I'll let you think. Oh, that's cool. Um. Uh, yeah. I think we do this thing. I don't think I want to redraw these guys. Oh, you gonna maelstrom? Yeah, we're gonna maelstrom. I don't want to gum up your draws with this Thargasa, but I think I'd rather have the Raider in the bin than mm. in my draw. Hmm. Hmm. Right? I mean, the Raider does capture, too. You ever thought about that? It does. We get some more value next time through. Okay. Yep. Letting those go, we are going to maelstrom mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sleep with the fishes tuck that portal away and then see what you're cooking with over here ah okay all right you like what you see you stuff um hmm. what are we putting back here I will get it back. You will indeed. And mine the maelstrom. And mine the maelstrom indeed. Yeah, could have could have buried it under the maelstrom, but it's all good. I mean, I think this is. I think. Okay, it's okay. Yeah, I, I guess like ordering that okay. and ordering the brain drain first is probably higher impact because I bet on the creatures on board. Mm -hmm. Maybe some small optimizations there. You put my brain drain back. I did. I did. Yep. Do I? Interesting. Discards the fang tooth. Okay. That's a key. I'll take a key. This kind of the fang tooth is definitely a. Um, like I, I think in an ideal world, I would keep the fang tooth, but given the current game state, I think it's sort of like a bit of a awkward time too sure alright we're gonna start the Chelonius rolling mm -hmm. don't do that don't do that I think we had enough of uh, no 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 enough of those archives and building no 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 <laughs> <laughs> and I want to thank the children decisions <laughs> We have decisions. I think we. Does that one get wasted? It might. Hmm. We've got two creatures. In, two creatures in hand. Mm-hmm. Which is what? Which of the Don and a key frog or another Chelonia? Take that one. That's cool. Beach day's gone, right? The fact that you can beach day your Witch of the Dawn is really cool. Yep. And this is a tough call. Oh, shit. Right, and Evil to Witch of the Dawn, even if you destroy Keyfrog, you're still not in the destroyed window, right? Like, you have to resolve the destruction fully? Yep. Right. Yeah. You're still in the play window, but the destroyed window closes. Yeah. 
It's always gonna be pretty here. dope. It would be it would be spicy. I think we're gonna still just let it go. You bring out Tama, Edai. I think Tama. Yeah, it's between I mean, Tama and Edai. You could bring out Hookmaster too. Got the Tide. But we get to lock that down and pull something from the hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think both are uh, both are reasonable. Undertow is nice. Yeah. Let's see what you got in here. Um. Okay. I think we just try to press the hand advantage, the tempo on our side. Burn that one. Exhaust you. Oh shit! Hit my uh, quiz. Numb quid. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, that's actually really awkward. I, that's that's good. That's awkward. <laughs> Keep rolling. Oh man, right? Forgot the chain. Thought I was gonna reshuffle it. I love Deep Beast Gleeb. Leaf Beast Gleeb is great. Oh yeah, so good. Mm -hmm. Man, we got so many houses Ooh. now. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to find what the. Uh, reshuffle okay so that one's online hmm still have still have sargassa coming around i think do we deal with sargassa somehow um, Sargassa got, um... Scrolling through the log here. You fought it with Tomwa to kill it. Ah, uh, right, right. Right, that's right? Yep. Yeah, you fought Raider and then Tomwa into Sargassa to kill it. That's right. Oh, no! Not final analysis. Terrible news. Terrible news. Terrible. Horrific news. No, that's that's bad. That's bad. Bad news. I feel bad when you doorstep me. We'll see. All no. Those cards. No, I don't. GG. 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 Well played. Well played. Some cool Dark Tidings shenanigans were had. They yeah. were. They were. I had fun. Yeah, yeah. Those are cool games. Uh, very cool games. This is a... It's a t uh, interesting deck. But, like, final analysis... Uh, all the board control is, like, conditional and comes with, a, with the downside. And juggling those is, uh, is always... Is always the fun of playing it. Um, and is a... Uh, is a fun one. <laughs> BP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. Nice. It's like nice. I always get a kick. I just get a kick of um when people just write good luck in the chat or just write or just write have fun. And just it's like fun. it's like either like you, you, yeah, have bad luck or you like don't have fun. <laughs> I hope your luck is bad and you have a great time if we do both of those. <laughs> That's that right. Yeah. Awesome. Or I hope your or I hope your luck is good and uh or I hope your luck yeah it's like oh uh, it's funny this it gives me a chuckle. Oh.
Yeah, hope you have just worse luck than I do. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that was fun though. That was fun. I like. I think your I think your lineup's really cool. It's a, it's fun. I mean, two two very fun lineups for sure. Uh, I definitely underestimated the triple Witch of the Dawn with Shalonia in that first one, um, or the second one, excuse me. Holy moly, that got me good. Yeah, the Silmus Silmus actually um, it is um, it did pretty well in NKFL when I ran it. Like I ran, I ran it as part of like an actual genuine hex head, and it did pretty well. It did um. Like I think like one of the things too is like it has like really really accessible artifact control in the Molly Mock. Mm-hmm. Um, so like you know it, it stuff like Quixel and that kind of stuff like it has ways to like manage it and like it has like does it have good C? No, but also like the Doctor Varactor combo is also very live. Like it's you know it needs some finagling to get there, um, but like you can set it up pretty pretty nice and then like you can like I did. Right, yeah, I can play the I can play the Chronophage up to three times or four times, I yep. guess, in a game, and together is really nice. Sometimes it's more impactful. That one was obviously pretty good, right? It was a turn one, all tied up into Chronophage, but it can yeah, that do was brutal. It can do uh, the the together can do some really fun stuff. Really fun stuff. Um, like I think it can play um. One of the fun things, if Dr. Varactor is on the board, uh, it can play Reckless, Reckless Experimentation from un- mm. from Star Alliance. So what it can, it's it's actually pretty. And it, you so, your Discord, yeah. You yeah. So you could, so you could, you know, your disc. This one doesn't have to do. have you know your Discord. So like you can do. So if Dr. Varactor is on the board, you can together the Reckless Experimentation, and then the second one do Re- Reaper Cell. So. Nice. And you can get it. You can get it. You can, you can get it. And that's that's, uh, cool. that's it. It's it's pretty fun. And there's lots of like, I just this feels like it feels like um obviously it has like the big line and the Witch of the Dawns, but it also plays like a lot of small ball. I'm um, just like getting some value out of the stuff like the think twice and that kind of stuff. So. Mm-hmm. Fun deck. Yeah, you could. Super cool too. You can play the Triska and then together out. Ooh, together out Varactor. And the experimentation? Well, Can you reap with it? Ooh. No, you'd have to play. You have to play the Reaper so somehow. Yeah, Reaper so because you can't you can't SB on if your tide's already high there. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Mm-hmm. That's cool though. It, no, cool. it's it, it's it's fun. I mean, the, if the deck if the deck gets Doctor Varactor and um, experimentation down, you can loop together too. Um, which is pretty fun. Like you can just like, um, or you can loop Reaper so. So like you can do lines where it's like yes. you, you can like reap with yes. it, Reaper so on top, and then do it again, and then like put together on top, and, or do stuff like that. It's fun. So. Yeah. So Unity or Discord is the one that gets the uh, it bounces uh, with upgrades. Pressed with upgrades, right? But your Reaper so you can bounce. You can I think you can roll a six Baractor as well there too, which is pretty cool. No, because it, it doesn't hit the bin until it finishes resolving. Ah, uh, you're right. So you need two of them. Yeah. Uh, you need two of them in the bin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that uh, the one that I have in um, Garvey. So Garvey's. Want... Yeah, you yeah, know what Garvey's I could do though. I think um, I you know what I, I could board. loop, um. I could think twice. I I could I could do what I could do is do think twice on the Reaper so. Mhm. And then put the in the in the Reaper. Oh no, cuz I wouldn't to plays it. I was going to say like cuz if it, if I could if I I was thinking it was like um as if you played it. Because if, if it, as if you played it, you could then like put the Reaper so on top of the deck, which is a hidden information zone, and it would lose it. Yep. But I can't do that. I think. So wait, yeah. You let's say you you reap with Varactor, use reckless experimentation. Uh, Varactor puts. Uh, no, but then it ends up there. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't have uh, I don't have the Unity or Discord, but I'll use um, I'll use assert dominance on an empty board to roll six for Rockter and Garvey. Uh, 
that's one fun one that flies and flies under the radar too. Yeah, if if I had um if I had that, that'd be pretty good. That'd be pretty good. Yeah. Oh, it's a fun deck. Yeah, I mean, I, I, Evil Twin of Dutch Adventure is very fun. I know you've 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 talked about it, you know, on the on the podcast and everything too. But that's a really fun deck. It's a cool one. It's very very well rounded. A little bit soft on board control, um, but yeah, plays the uh, plays the tempo game well, and can like do some comboy things with uh, Evil Witch of the Dawn. Really fun. Very dynamic. I was a little totally. little sad you didn't play Garvey. <laughs> I'm sad I didn't play Garvey too. I, I mean, all of these decks I want to be playing. Uh, Garvey this is a really fun. Garvey's on my, <laughs> one of my favorite DT decks you have. I just think that this this Logos is so fun. Super fun. Playing playing a ready PI Swaven with Rooftop Lab out is just so good. And oh. uh, phase shifting into punctuated equilibrium after final analysis is just like. Mm, so that's good. nice. That's nice. Now, Garvey mm -hmm. has an evil twin. Do you have that? I don't, but I've uh, I've looked into acquiring it. Mm. Uh, Sad. And yeah, I think it's X, it's X rays. Let me check. I want to say it's X rays. I may have been somebody else's before. X ray would probably part with it. I bet. Um, the evil PI Swevin is definitely not like you were saying up to the same part. It's less exciting to play evil PI Swevin with Rooftop Lab yeah, than the regular one for sure. What I was saying, what I was actually going to say about the um, Evil Twin Duchess is that Tom, Evil Twin Tom with the Glow should have the same condition on the number of cards discarded. Like, it should say for each, like, exhausted opponent's creature, discard a card from their hand. Because that would be cool. That would be like, oh, man, I can work towards this. You know, like, maybe I Storm Surge. Um, or, like, you know what I mean? Like, that's cool. But yep. the fact that, it, the fact that there, it doesn't have that is very disappointing. Yeah, a little underwhelming. Could be could be super fun to build up towards, and not like, I mean, I wouldn't say I wouldn't call it overpowered. You still have to do a lot of work to set it up. Um, exactly. I mean, even like even a thunder toe, right? Like discard three off a of Tama. That's so fun. Like that's cool. And like obviously, like, it's not really repeatable. Um, so I, I just think I just think it would have been a much cooler Tama would have been a much more fun card if it was like, if it was discard a card for each exhausted creature on the opponent's opponent's field. Yep. I, I don't disagree. And as an evil twin, too. Uh, I mean, you're not seeing so many of them that they're going to show up as being problematic. Exactly. But What are you going to do? Anyway. What are you going to do? Well, congrats on the win. And the wins are really games. important. The wins are really important in this league <laughs> with, only, with people only playing three three rounds. Okay. I'll have to see if so. my, um, see if my uh, Jenka... Tech holds up for uh, for Joe. I don't know. <laughs> you you better you better go all the way. If you beat me, you better go all the way. We're on. I, the, we're that's on the all path. I'm saying. We're committed now. <laughs> Wait, does it have a key abduction? It does not. Your carbon. Carbon does not. It has a hypnotic command. Uh, but yeah, okay. No key abduction. Yeah, key abduction in there would have been would have been really nice. Yeah. Um, Yep. Although you do, you it does look like you struggle to generate amber in Mars. In Mars, you can juggle. Uh, uh, struggle Sorry, out of hand. Amber. Yeah, out of hand. Out of hand. Yeah, yeah. You end up. Uh, you end this... up trying to, you know, either with mothership support or with exterminate or mother gun, you know, smashing one of your dust imps to give you some fuel. Um, mm, I see. But, but yeah, it doesn't end up. Uh, it doesn't end up. Uh, Although I feel like I feel like you can get a lot of value of that binary rupture with two cut three researches. Yep. You, you know, like a mini brig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like stealing, like getting, like doubling your pool and then getting six off them, potentially from the from the cutthroats for a key. That sounds pretty. That sounds pretty nice. I like the sound of that. It's pretty nice. And if you can, uh, sometimes you just do a big binate and. Uh, Right. You know, let let it happen, and then hope to have a, enough for a larger generosity next turn, and try right. and reclaim it. That right. kind of command. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. No, that's a cool deck. It's a fun one. It has some holes. It has some holes. I'm sure we'll we'll see if it gets exploited. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I think um, 
I think I, th I think you have better decks in your lineup than Carbon. Um, like I think I think uh, I think your DT are I think your DT are all better than Carbon. If I'm being honest, I definitely think Duchess and Westfall are better. Probably Garvey too. Yeah, I don't I, disagree. I just think uh, there's I mean, definitely. I'll oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, there there are definitely gonna be lineups where Carbon shines. Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I guess, like, I, I know, like, my playstyle too is like often very, like, low amber control, kind of combo-y and aggressive. So, mm -hmm. I think I, I also just probably don't have. I know that's not necessarily yours. So, probably just, affin know, probably just affinity, going... affinity is coming into play there. I'm going for the tears. I brought my, uh, <laughs> I brought my, uh, you know, vials to fill. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. You got <laughs> your specimen collect, your specimen collections. Collecting specimens in the field, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> totally. totally. All right. Well, you have a good night, JT. Thank you so much for the games and the voice chat. I appreciate it. My pleasure. I appreciate you doing the stream. And yeah, they're fun games. Absolutely. Yeah, I enjoy it. I honestly, especially for like, a, I mean, a casual for a casually like this, I think just I think voice chat just really adds a lot to the experience. It was it was a good time. Absolutely good time. All right. Signing off. All See right. Later. I'm See you, JT. Yeah. And that'll be it for us, everyone. Thank you so much to watch for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace, everybody. Yeah, of course, Sock. I it's it, it's a fun league. I uh, I love playing DT. I love playing AOA. So uh, it's a no-brainer. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it, and for running the league. So catch y'all next time.